Okay, and we're back. Back at it again with another episode of Now Now SMP, everybody. All right, and you might be noticing that there's a fourth chest on here with a whole other bunch of items. Well, well, see, well, we'll see. While I was re, well, we'll see. While I was re recuperating after whatever ha happened, there's actually a reward system. So for every time you you lo you log in, you get like a special reward. You get to choose from three options, three random options. But this time, rather than stacking it up, it only stacks up to 10 max, and that's about it. So, you can miss up to 10 days. But after that, then it just gets gone forever. Yeah, it's not like the Christmas morning, you can just stack up to 20, or 13, and whatnot. Now it's just the maximum of 10. It's here to say, it's basically a whole fun, it's basically a whole thing to get the people, you know, invested, in come on the server, like... Like, just to have, like, some really cool items. Like, there are some cool items, too. Like, for example, this Umbrella Tree Sapling, and, uh, the Earth Lantern, and a Truffle. Whatever that is. And a Tofu Burger. Is that my end city map? I think that's my end Is that my end city map? Hold on. <laughs> no, it's completely blank. What the heck? Anyway, so I got, like, a random... I got a ring, but it's basically a ring already has, so I might just trade it for some for something else instead. Oh, I'm just gonna trade here. It's pretty boss, by the way. Anyway, see how the way this works. You just click on this button right here, and you get like a like a three different options, depend depending on what day it is, or basically that brand. Them. It's for example, right now we have brewing supplies, enchanting, and also armor. armor. I'm gonna go for different enchanting, and you have to have like an open space in front of you. And there you go, a magic chest just appears. <laughs> and you get like these really cool items right here. Ooh, we got a mini book. I'm breaking them. Oh, I, I have plenty of, I have tons of use for that thing. Oh, we got this kind of anvil. Good, because our anvil is basically looking a little chipped right now. What I also like about, I also like about this, as you'll see eventually that, ooh, a chamber table, is that once I get everything from the chest, it just straight up disappears like that, yeah. I said, oh, okay, yeah, come out from it. Which uh, is a nice touch, actually. It help makes it really whole. Basically, enforce for the whole. There's magic in the server thing. Something I haven't really been a, been a part of recently. Mainly because, well, I don't really know much about these mods. <laughs> I don't exist. For example, these netherite chests. That that has to be to that has to be told to me by by focus. And they do, and it does help a lot with the storage system. Being able to upgrade your storage just to hold more items, that's a, that's a game changer. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little muffled. I'm still a little under the weather right now, but yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and do this as best as possible. I've just been like, you know, a bit so pretty out of to the point where I literally got sick for a while. I think I still am a little sick. But yeah, that's better. Also, I had to I had to reinstall some new shears because there because some of these shears are under durability. Some of them even broke durability actually. Which one? This one. I had to replace the shear right away because it wasn't doing anything. I think it was this one that I noticed it more because this I can actually see the the wool the wool on the sheep. That footage, but I decided to delete it because well, there's not really much happening yesterday. Although there's something I should probably show you show you guys. Like, let me just give me a minute. Hmm. Okay, here's here's a perfect example. Watch out to the screen of sword. I got ice. I got ice cream and ice gel. Wait, really? Ice cream? Huh? That's a first. Yeah, but I knew it wasn't strong enough. Let's go. Let's go try out a, a stronger enemy. A down the caves. Yeah. Any joy bats here? No. Okay. Maybe I can try on this glow squid. I actually do need ink sack for, I do this glow, glow ink sack for something. Actually, hold on. Okay. I got three glow sacks. Yeah. Sorry. Ow, okay. Okay, yeah. I think I know what it takes me. Does it take me two swings or one or one swing to kill a squid? Well, I have a sharpness for a sword, so I can't really tell, but... Well, well. Okay, back. It's, but I swear that... But I swear I do more damage. Okay. 
Oh, here's okay. Here's okay. Here's a good. Okay, here's a good enemy to show an example on. Yep, that's normal. No, I think I, no, I think it's best shown when I'm fighting a zombie, actually. Cause yeah, skeletons. Cause cause right now I'm at a point where it's just two shot skeletons and and creepers. What is that? What is that? Hold on. Oh, here, here's a zombie. Okay. Is that what's been making those noises? Hold on. The echoey noises. Hold on. I need to get down there. Yeah, I can two shot zombies now. That's a. Yeah, I can two shot zombies now. Normally, t I normally even with a 10 attack damaging sword, I I'd still three shot them, but no. I two shot them. Oh, you see that skeleton? I see a skeleton. He did. I did like five and a half hearts of damage over there. It's like I'm slightly stronger, or something. Okay, that was because I didn't time it. But still, I feel like I'm slightly stronger than what I was previously. Okay, this is what it, this is what I need the glowing sack for. See, my goal for today is to spread awareness. See, I knew these. See, I knew sands would, would come in handy someday. Okay, so okay, so here's the current message. Okay, so here's the current message which we, we have working at the moment. On the way, they armed themselves. Something big is yet to happen. They'll be ready. Be he'll be ready. He is going to be prepared. Spread the word. Don't let him in. This whole world needs to help. He must not, cannot win. And that's it. <laughs> and, I, and that's it. Like, I was told. I was told. I was told to spread awareness. So this is just me for spreading awareness. Like, like if the other members happen to see this, just just know that yeah, something is going to happen. Like gonna happen like, to this day I still hold on to this book it's still in my inventory I, I, I cannot leave my inventory I cannot leave my inventory something about something okay, something's going to happen here and I don't know what well it's about as well it's about as well safe to just cruise around the island see if anything changed around its perimeters I know, I know somebody had like a little incident recently where they were just falling in like an endless loop. So I might as well check the parameters. Yeah, it looks like nothing much has changed. Anything here in, Cr in Crow's place? Nothing. Wait a minute. What? Wow. It's empty. And there's an annoying here. What the heck? It's empty. This place was this place was literally just like a base enemy. Well, not really a base, but more like a hideaway. Okay, not exactly a hideaway because I found it, but actually like a little room area where you can just you know put some stuff here, make it like a temporary house and whatnot. Well, well at least it's an enchantment room, but you. Know. But yeah, usually there's a sign that says keep out or what? What is what the heck? Where am I? What is this place? Rainbow slime bomb. Where Where the heck are oh jeez. I think I don't worry. Yep, okay, I I remember now. This is What is... Okay, wow. Interesting. I entered the portal. Yeah. I entered the portal to... I basically went to Crow's room because I thought somebody stole his stuff. Now here I am, entering. And I'm suddenly in a completely different every... Uh, what is this? Yeah, I don't even... Actually, you know what? I might as well stop here. Because I don't want to go deep into and uh, to be too forbidden territory. Crow, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I had no idea that this this, that this was a thing. I have no idea how you how you did this. How you did this, or if it's even possible.
This, I think, is a little bit. Is Plague Space the same thing as this one? Okay, sort of. I want to enter while at the same time, I, I want to respect their privacy, so I'm not going to enter. It's too late. It's too late to respect Crow's privacy. I accent. It's too late to respect Crow's In my defense, I went inside because I thought somebody stole your items, Crow. Not, not to snoop around. I wonder if Poet. I wonder if Poet has some. I wonder if Poe has like a similar thing. Uh, so sorry. No, it just looks like the normal tower, how I left it. How I left it, what is this? Yeah, it looks all normal to me, yeah. Alright. Nope, still nothing. Apart from that one, apart from that one area where there was literally a portal connected to my house, over to this area, which I, which I was not a fan of, by the way, I specifically said, to, I specifically stayed off the grid to disconnect from the portal, to my own space, because something like this might happen. I want to stay far away from the chaos, but it seems that the chaos has followed me. What can you do? And look, there's a cow from, there's the cow from earlier. And they're still... They're still alive. I don't believe it. The honorary cow. Okay, so apart from the immersive portals that are basically have a... That makes it a little more convenient to traverse around the castle. Nothing really much happened. Nothing really much happened hidden here. With all honesty. There's this bit, though, which I wanted to address. The whole, please... The whole, uh, what's it say? Resources for building only here. Yeah, they ha yeah, we have all these items, but they can only be used in the castle for some weird reason. Let's see, like, what's up with that? What happens if we place them outside the castle? Do they blow up, or do they, you know, disappear? That's strange, as well. Hey, I'm not one of the question. Okay, now it's time to return home. And for, and for really, we're actually going to stay, stay there, because there's a few things I want to do. Sort of. I guess again, this the looking for one farm that I particularly just forgot about. Okay. Like I used to once, but then I just forgot about it. Should we ride over here? Yep, it's my old, it's my old uh, copper, it's my old cobblestone farm. I used it, but then I stopped using it because well, I had better things to do. Though I do find this very interesting. Like, I guess I could be here for now as a memorial, but I do want to make like an like a better cob cobblestone farm thing. My idea of the farm would be like I would dig down. I would dig down. Yes, yeah, so my idea of the farm is that I would dig down here in this man of the entire area, and to two lava buckets, two two waterlogged items, and those what, 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 what essentially that will do is stop the water from flowing. So I know, but also a fun fact. When, wa when water touches, when lava touches a waterlogged uh, item, it basically just uh, turns it into stone. But that's about it. It doesn't burn anything. It just turns it into stone. But that's it. Note to self, make a lava farm as quickly as possible. I then have to wait as I had to build my cobblestone generator, which yes, of course, did consist of the waterlogged staircase and the whole lava trick. And it's basically because it helps conserve space since it would be all bulky and whatnot. I also decided to go with the classic observer clock trick because I thought that would be like the best fit for this farm right here for the pistons. And like any other other farms, I had to build something around it to conceal it because of nighttime and whatnot. I also decided to put in like the spinzy because I thought it would help the water carry on to this collection system, namely the double chest system, which does fall under the pistons as I've seen in the other farms recently. So basically, what I'm planning on doing is doing like something like this. Where basically, as I mine all this, some of it will come on the wall. Or something, I don't know, but... Actually, it's not working, though. Sort of working, not really working. Hmm, interesting. It doesn't seem to be working. Huh, that's strange. I had this whole setup thing and everything. Alright. I guess I'm not taking the count that, well, this may not work. Okay. What if I got rid of these slabs? Hold on. Okay. Let's see if this works out. There it 
There we go. Now it's working. The only thing not working is this one now. Hold on. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one that causes a bit of a problem. Then, okay. I can see the problem with this one. Turns out the observer clock was too fast for the lava and water to register as a super spot to make cobblestone. So I had to remove it and instead of replacing it with like a redstone clock, which actually gave it a little more lenient time for the pistons to slowly go up and down but still at a, st a steady pace, allowing the lava and the water to properly recreate cobblestone. And it did work for both pistons as well. As you can see right here, it works perfectly now. I also decided to, you know, fix the water situation thereafter by literally just pulling back like the two water source blocks into two blocks back. All right, I think we got a solution. <laughs> wow, it's literally simple. All I did was mount those two blocks, move this backwards, and that's it, I guess. Let's let's try it out first. Yeah, looks like it's working. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. There we go, yeah, I can definitely spend my time with this. Okay, now we're talking, yeah, literally just had to pull it back. And that's about it. That's all there was to it. Plus the ones we got from mining, plus what we got from the dinner itself, we have this much cobblestone. All right, not so bad. So each iron pickaxe can mine up to 250 blocks at a time before it expires. The, the iron farm produces iron like every 10 minutes or a couple of minutes or so. So we're going to set for life. Yeah, we just take some iron from the iron farm or iron we already have in here. And if we run out of iron here, we take some from the iron farm, which constantly produces iron. We just keep mining cobblestone to our heart's content. Alright. Also, I just realized I should probably keep all this stuff in. Like, like this is the one like this is the first thing I this is the first thing I got. And this is the second thing I got. So I want to keep these to myself, like on a separate chest somewhere. Oh yeah, I put the shortcut box there because they were just they were just taking too much space. So yeah, so I made like a message board, and then I made a cobblestone generator, and yeah, that's oh yeah that's better. I don't know how much I don't know how much it just will be uploaded to YouTube, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching anyway. Thank you guys for comments below, like, subscribe, please check out the stuff in the meantime, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye for now.